Hi there, I'm going to use this tutorial to show you how to hook up a DMX lamp to pure data through an Arduino board. Okay, so what we've got here is um, an XLR cable plugged into an Arduino board with the red pin going into pin 3, the white pin into pin 4, and the copper braid plugged into the ground pin. Then plug the other end of the XLR into your DMX lamp. Right, now that we've got the DMX light plugged into the Arduino board, next thing you need to do is start Arduino. So start the application. Make sure that you've got the DMX simple library from Tinkerit already downloaded and under the DMX simple library choose serial to DMX what this sketch does is it listens out for serial messages being sent over this BAUD 9600 although you can change it down here if you wish um, and it sends those serial messages to the Arduino board and to the DMX lamp so that's all good we upload it to the board should see the lights blinking on the Arduino. Done uploading. And then there are tutorials on how you can use the serial messaging system in Arduino itself, but we want to use it from pure data. So next thing you've got to do is open PD. Okay. Now we've got PD open, start a new patch. The first object we're going to have to create is the COM port, which will talk uh, via serial to Arduino and therefore the DMX. So that's part of the flat space group of abstractions. Slash COM port. Now COM port takes two creation arguments. The first one is the address of the port. Uh, that you're using. So in my case it's going to be 2 because the first one is the modem and then 2 is the USB which is attached to the Arduino and then the second argument is the BAUD rate so that's from before 9600. Now for you to find out what address your port is on make a message devices send it to the COM port and it'll tell you here. So my Bluetooth is on address 1, and the USB, which is what I want to use, is on address 2. So I know to send 2 as a creation argument. You could, alternatively, do open 2 as a message. Send that, and it'll open 2 with a BAUD rate of 9600. So, I've configured my DMX lamp to start at address 1 to receive messages. So um, that's 1 is going to be the red, 2 is going to be the green, 3 is going to be the blue, and 4 is going to be the shutter. So we want 4 to be always up to 255 to the maximum value so that we can control the brightness with the other 3, that's not a problem. So uh, to send messages to the Arduino via serial through COM port, the syntax is print, and as the serial to DMX um, Arduino sketch defines, the syntax for sending a message would be the channel number, so in our case 4, and then with C, and then the value we want to send to it, which is 255, so 255, and then W. So, goes to COM port, send this message, and you should have seen the lamp flashed. That's not very exciting. Let's turn up red. So create another message. Again, print. This time channel 1, C, 255, W. Send that to COM port. And there we go. Nice red. Okay, so 
another part of the patch I've got a drum beat playing and I've set up some sends for us to receive the individual kick and snare hits here so let's catch those with receive DMX kick one and receive DMX snare one okay so there we've got the individual drum hits for a drum beat that we can make the lights reactive so we want to set up a print message for each of the channels that we're going to be manipulating to center the com ports red green and blue so we'll do print first channel for red 1c and then we want it to be a variable message so we'll put dollar one w and then we can actually just connect a number box and you can see there goes all the way up to 255 So let's do that for the other two. This is going to be 2C. And this is going to be 3C. There's the blue. There's the green. And there's the red. Great. So the next thing we want to do is we want to make those in time with the music sort of flashes up to 255 and then to go back down to zero. So what we'll do is we'll create a message which says go to 255 and then go back to zero and take 400 milliseconds to do so. So we'll send that to a line. And one thing that I found out about um, Compor and the DMX lamp is that it only likes integer numbers. So don't send it anything with a decimal, anything else the decimal point. So we'll just hook that up to an int just to make sure. And there we go. Goes to 255 and then fades back down to zero in 400 milliseconds. It's just actually because we've got some residual values left in the green and blue that is not going back down to completely zero so there you go so we want to do something similar for the other two so let's just duplicate this I'd like the blue to go up when we've got a snare hit but I want it to be slightly quicker so we'll make it go down in 300 milliseconds hook that up and there we go That's it for the first half of the tutorial. Check out the next video where I'm going to show you some examples using a MIDI keyboard and also messages in from Oscillator.